Hello, everybody. I have another new song for you today. In this song, you will be able to stand up, clap your hands, give a wave, and then sit down. But you'll have to wait to do that until you hear your name. Are you ready to begin? Where is Elias? Where is Lily? Where is Leo? Where is John? Please stand up and do a little clapping. Next a wave, then sit down. Did you remember to wait until you heard your name? All right, if you haven't heard yours yet, keep waiting. Where is Sanai? Where is Joris? Where is Carter? Where is Tinu? Please stand up and do a little clapping. Next a wave, then sit down. If you haven't heard your name yet, keep waiting. Where is Lamari? Where is Sky? Where is Nevea? Where is Nico? Please stand up and do a little clapping. Next a wave, then sit down. There's a few friends that are still waiting to hear their name. Where is Xavier? Where is Kaylee? Where is Ileana? Where's Miss Jill? Please stand up and do a little clapping. Next a wave, then sit down. Did you think it was hard to wait for your turn to hear your name? Oh, Jack, were you waiting to hear your name? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I forgot to sing about you and Amy. Next time I'll remember, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, let's sing our We Wish You Well song to all our friends, including Jack and Amy. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. I hope everybody has a great day today. Do you remember when Jack was here last time and he talked about a time when he had a hard time waiting to go outside? Mm-hmm. And then you helped me calm down and you said that I could count some things quietly while I waited. You're right, Jack. Well, here's another story about waiting. This story is about Olivia. It's almost mealtime, and she's waiting in line to wash her hands. She can't seem to stand still. She keeps hopping up and down on one foot, and then she bumps into other people and gets out of line. How do you think Olivia might be feeling? Hmm. Silly? Mm, excited? Impatient? I think you're right, Jack. Do you think Olivia needs to calm down? All right. Let's do the calm down steps to help Olivia. Put your hands on your tummy and say stop. Say how you're feeling. I think Olivia would say she's feeling... Uh, Maybe frustrated that she has to wait or excited that she has to wait or maybe she's being a little silly because she's jumping up and down or she's just being impatient because it's hard to wait. So she would say how she is feeling. I feel impatient, she might say. And then she would do her three slow belly breaths. Remember, one, in, out, two, and three. Well, counting things could also help Olivia wait. She decides that she's going to count the friends in the line 
And then she's going to count things that are blue. Let's see, how many friends are in the line? Jack, can you count with us? Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, the little boy in yellow is the last one. We counted five friends that are trying to wash their hands. Well, by the time Olivia counted to 10 and counted 10 blue things, it was her turn to wash her hands. Counting helped her calm down and it was fun. Jack, do you know another way that helps us wait calmly for something? Oh, you don't remember? Here, let me tell you. Now he remembers. You can sing to help you wait, but not at the top of your lungs, just quietly to yourself. Right, let's sing that waiting song for them, okay? Oh, when we need to wait, oh, when we need to wait, we can count and we can breathe and sing to help us wait. We count out loud to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we take a belly breath and sing to help us wait. We're waiting to go outside. One, two, three, four, and five. We can count and we can breathe and sing to help us wait. Thanks for sharing all those ways with us to wait patiently when we have to wait for something. Well, it's my turn to read you a book today about a little girl. When I was a little girl, I could hardly wait till I was a grown up. But this little girl likes to be little. Charlotte Zolato wrote the words to this book. She's the author. And Eric Blegvid drew the pretty pictures. He's the illustrator. The front cover of the book says the title, I Like to Be Little. This book has a book jacket. A book jacket protects a book just like when you wear a jacket, it protects you from being cold or getting rain on you or getting snow on you. So I'm taking off the book jacket and I'm going to read you the story. I like to be little. Once there was a little girl. What do you want to be when you grow up? Her mother asked. I just want to stay little right now, she said. Why, said her mother, it's nice to be grown up. Why do you want to be little? Because I am, said the little girl. And because when you're little, you can do things that you can't do when you grow up. What things can you do that grown-ups don't, said her mother. Skip, said the little girl. I can skip when I'm glad. Grown-ups don't skip when they're glad. That is so, said her mother, though they have different ways to be glad. Oh, said the little girl, I like to skip. That's why I like to be little. What else, though, asked her mother. I can sit under the dining room table and make it my house and draw my finger around the roses in the rug. Grown-ups can't sit under the table. True, said the mother, but grown-ups don't want to. I want to, said the little girl. That's why I like being little. What else, said her mother. I can go barefoot in summertime. Grown-ups don't go barefoot in the summer. True, said the mother, they usually don't. I like to be barefoot, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, though, said her mother. The ice cream man knows my name, my first name, said the little girl. He doesn't know yours. No, said the mother. I like him to know, the little girl said. I like to be little. 
What else? asked her mother. I can sit and do nothing, said the little girl. Grown-ups never sit and do nothing. They're too busy, said her mother. I like to sit and do nothing, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, though? asked her mother. If I see something pretty, I can draw a picture with crayons. Grown-ups don't draw with crayons, said the little girl. Well, usually not, said her mother. I like to draw with crayons, said the little girl. That's why I like to be little. What else, said her mother. Grown-ups don't have birthday parties with cake and ice cream and candles, said the little girl. No, said the mother. They really don't want them. Well, I want them, said the little girl. That's why I like to be little. What else, asked her mother. I could sit at the window and watch the rain run down the pane, said the little girl. I never saw a grown-up do that. Is that fun, asked the mother. Well, for me, said the little girl happily. That's why I like to be little. What else then, asked her mother. I can dress up in funny costumes on Halloween, said the little girl, and go trick-or-treating. Grown-ups don't. True, said her mother, smiling. I like to dress up in funny costumes and go trick-or-treating, said the little girl. I like to be little. What else, said her mother. I can jump in the piles of leaves each fall, the little girl said. Grown-ups just rake them. Rake them into piles, said her mother. I like to jump at the leaves, the little girl said. I like to be little. What else, said her mother. I can eat the snow when it first falls, said the little girl. Grown-ups never do that. Is it good, her mother asked. It is, said the little girl. I like being little very much. I like the things that happen. Well, said her mother, I know something about being grown up that makes all these things happen again. What, said the little girl. What could that be? Her mother put her hand under the little girl's chin and looked in her eyes. When you're grown up, she said, you could be the mother of a little girl like you. The little girl smiled. Well, said the little girl, I know something as good as that. What, said her mother, what could be as good as having a little girl like you? Well, said the little girl, at night after you kiss me and tuck me in, I can lie in bed and think of growing up to be like you. When you're little, you know you'll grow up. Grown-ups already are. I like to know that I'll grow up someday, but right now, I like being little. I hope you guys like being little too. There's so many fun things that you can do. It was good to hang out with you guys today, and we'll see you again another day. Bye-bye. Jack, do you want to say goodbye? All right. Bye.